Here we've got a heavy duty solenoid. A solenoid is basically a motorized plunger. What you do is you hook this up to a voltage, apply voltage, and the plunger will spit out like that, and then with the spring, return back to the normal position. Um, this is traditionally used in something like a pinball machine, but you can also use these to activate levers or push things out of the way, all sorts of different mechanical applications. This particular solenoid operates at 36 volts, although as we're going to show from a demo, you can easily operate anywhere from 5 to 36 volts. The amount of force will just vary depending on how much voltage you give it. It's got this really heavy duty steel body and it's got four tapped holes in either side so it's really easy to mount to. So let's hook this up and see what it does. So here we've got a little setup to test the solenoid. We've got a benchtop power supply that can provide up to about 38 volts. We've got that plugged in through a switch, plugged directly into the solenoid, and then we've got a force sensitive resistor at the end of the plunger. So when the plunger activates it's going to hit that resistor and give us a value that is read into an Arduino and then displayed on LCD screen as the analog value which would be 0 to 1023. So let's dial this in at about 5 volts and see what the lower limit threshold of this solenoid looks like. So when we activate it there you saw that it just barely pushes out and it really doesn't provide much force at all. It's registering about 550 on the force gauge. If we crank this up to about 12 volts, you can see a pretty big difference. So you can see it has a much more authoritative thud against the panel. And we're reading about 830, which is a lot better. However, if we crank this up to max, you can see that this solenoid has quite a bit of force behind it. So right now we're about 36, 37 volts. And it has a lot of force behind that. And we're almost maxing out the force gauge. And if we activate this and then just slowly turn down the voltage, you can see the force on the meters going down proportionally as well. As we keep going down and then finally hit 5 volts, it will actually disengage. So, pretty nifty.